On the third anniversary of the Hypercacher massacre in Paris, now again in France, further kosher stores, Jewish targets, again attacked. What's happening in France? Uh, Anti-Semitism is rising quickly in France today and uh, the life of um, many Jews is becoming very uncomfortable. Many Jews uh, move inside France to go to safe area. Those who can move to Israel or to Canada or to the United States if they can. And if nothing stops what's happening, uh, France will lose completely its Jewish population within a few years and uh, the population will be replaced by Muslims and it will make a huge difference. So I could say that the part of uh, of the cell of France is uh, vanishing completely and according to me it's extremely dangerous and it's extremely extremely dangerous because the government does nothing about it, the government doesn't speak about it, the government doesn't even have the courage to say that uh, something bad is happening because the government wants to get the votes of uh, the Muslim population and uh, I I think that it's really a shame and I'm ashamed of what's happening right now in France uh, because I think that the Jewish families and uh, the Jewish people have roots in France and they have had roots in France for centuries and uh, they are one of the oldest population in France. And uh, I could add that uh, what did happen during World War II was a sh a shameful and uh, I think that the French government would have to to think twice before abandoning the mm -hmm. Jewish population and that's what is happening right now mm -hmm. and uh, I think that uh, it's necessary to open the eyes and to say it to the rest of the world and that's why I'm saying that in English because people in the United States people in the rest of the English speaking world mm -hmm. have to know what's happening in Europe mm -hmm. and that if nothing changes quickly, uh, Europe will lose its Jews, but Europe will lose also its soul. And uh, Europe will be dead if nothing changes very quickly and if nothing uh, good uh, happen to make uh, Europe survive. Mm -hmm. How would losing its Jews, Jewish citizens, uh, lose Europe its soul. Uh, if you look at uh, what Jews did uh, bring to Europe, you see that um, a large part of Jews, uh, of the Jewish population, is very educated. Uh, they wrote books. They are scientists. Uh, if you, if you, yeah, yes. Uh, if, if, if you want to find a doctor in France, you have a very good chance that this doctor will be a Jew. If you want to look for a lawyer, you have a good chance that this lawyer will be a Jew. And the Jews are a very bright population. Uh, I think that many people despise Jews because uh, they are very bright and very smart and because they create. And I could say that uh, you have two kinds of values in every civilization. You have uh, the value of resentment and the value of the love of achievement. Jews are achievers. So the people who want to achieve and the, the civilization who wants to achieve loves Jews. Mm -hmm. The people who are full of resentment hate Jews. And I think that if Europe goes in the direction of resentment, Europe will be completely lost. And I think that Europe is on the verge of collapse today. Uh -huh. One doesn't have to love Jews to... Uh to resent what's happening in the government and this appeasing of this uh, leftist um, Islamo-Marxist uh, rise within Europe. It's, it's uh, reminiscent of uh, World War II, the National Socialist Movement. Um, how do you view what's happening politically aside from the Jews with regard to with the, the catering and patronizing of the uh, Islamo-left? 
uh, I could say that uh, all the European governments are afraid of uh, Muslim riots and are hostages of uh, the Muslim population. It's becoming like that more and more. And uh, I think that uh, it will not change because if you look at the birth rates, if you look at immigration, you see that Uh, it's almost impossible to speak about these topics in Europe right now and uh, so I think that uh, slowly uh, but really uh, Islamo-Marxists gain power in Europe and uh, they will have all the power within a few years if nothing changes and uh, the words lose their meaning in Europe uh, when you support human rights when you say that Islam is dangerous uh, when you say that totalitarianism could occur again, you're you're defined as a fascist. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you support what's happening, you're supposed to be an anti-fascist. So uh, the words are uh, losing their meaning Mm -hmm. and uh, everything seems to be upside down. So I think it's necessary to say it and to make the people of the English-speaking world aware of of what is happening in Europe.